I would never ask you this question as a player, but damn it, you're an analyst now, so I can ask this question. <laughs> uh, top five quarterbacks in the National Football League right now, according to Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes being number one. Give me two, three, four, and five. Um, yeah, so I just think, I think consistently well the guys that I see. Um, I see Josh Allen as someone who's always impresses me as a player. I see Lamar Jackson, who always impresses me as a player. Um, yeah, I think that... Some different guys probably have different moments. Right. Um, Joe Burrow is very impressive the way very he throws impressive. the ball and leads the team. Again, another guy who's got a great connection with his teammates. Right. Um, and then I think... I'll leave it at those four. Right, right. I'm going to throw Aaron Rodgers in there. I'm oh, just of course. Me. It's well, just me. It's yeah. just me. One of the great pure passes Absolutely. the game has ever seen. I'm going to throw him in there, and the man knows the game inside. I, I got to ask I'm you. I'm very interested to see how Aaron comes back and performs this year. And yep. You know, how dedicated and committed he is to, right. to being a great quarterback again. He had right. a year off. I believe that it would be very motivating for him to do that. But, again, that's, what, that's why they go play. And, right. again, I think for all of us, we can analyze before the point. At the end of the day, it's going to be up to them to go out there and prove to us, right or wrong, whether our decisions or judgments or hypotheses about them are right. I look at somebody like the San Francisco 49ers, for example, and I say to myself, they're knocking on a door. Brock Purdy's there, Kittle's there, Debo Samuel is there, Christian McCaffrey is there. I think they need to keep Ayuk, but I'm a Steelers fan. Please go to the Steelers. But here's the deal. I look at San Francisco, and there's two trains of thought. On one hand, you've been knocking on the door. At some point, you're going to kick it in. Or you've been knocking on the door, and you missed your opportunity. What mode of thinking... And I'm really not about San Francisco, just about that kind of scenario. Sure. When you've been knocking on the door and you've gotten so close, is it more of a missed opportunity or is it more of we're right there? I think, I think perspective will determine that ultimately when we look back. So in any team in the moment that I would say loses a Super Bowl, how many times have we lost Super Bowl and then the next year the team doesn't make the playoffs? That happens quite a bit. Yeah. You know why? Because every year you start back at the bottom with everybody else. Whether you win the Super Bowl, whether you finish in 32nd place, you start at the bottom of that mountain that you're trying to climb. And I think someone like the 49ers, for example, they run a great program. I think they have a very good ownership. They have a very good general manager. They have a good head coach. They have a very good quarterback. They have a very good defense and defensive coordinator who they've had. Mm -hmm. And I think those are great fundamentals of what you're looking for to build an organization, those positions. I'm a huge Kyle Shanahan fan. I think he's an exceptional too. coach, an exceptional offensive yeah. mind. But I've never gotten over the fact that he was the offensive coordinator that lost a 25-point lead against your Patriots. Well, I'm like, run the football, keep the ball out of Tom Brady's hands, and, and, and the clock will work for you. That's just my thinking. Okay. Well, I'm glad it worked out the way it did. <laughs> Let me say that. But at the same time, the argument for that is Matt Ryan had a 158.3 quarterback rate into that right. point. Right. He was playing as well. He won the MVP of that season. They had Julio Jones out there. And had it not, let's say he handed the ball up, uh, off a couple times and it didn't go well, they'd be saying, why didn't you put the ball in the hands of the MVP and Fair. throw it to your Fair. You know, first ballot Hall of Fame receiver? Right. So the reality is he had the league MVP. Mm -hmm. He had one of the great receivers of the generation in Julio Jones. That right. offense was prolific that season. Put it in their hands. If you're going to go down in the Super Bowl, you want to go down with your best guys. Right. And he was trying, not that he was trying to go down, but he was trying to put it in their hands. Do you ever find, like when we watch other sports, particularly with me in basketball, you see guys and you're going like this. They look a little nervous. They don't look like, they don't look like they ready to handle this moment. Have you found, did you find yourself at times on the opposite side of a football field, and you're looking at the team, and you're like, they ain't ready for this. They, 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 they don't want this moment. I'm telling you, just put the ball back. They're not ready for this. Have you found yourself in those scenarios? I definitely have seen that a few times. I would say it's very rare to see that on an entire defense. Okay. I'd say you can see it on certain players that just have checked out. They're not really that interested in being out there that day. Uh, sometimes it comes a little bit later in the season or late in games where – you know, they want to go out there and be a professional, but at the same time, right. they're playing very much within their comfort zone. Right. They're not 
playing the way Ray Lewis played. They're not playing the way Ed Reed played. Those guys like that, Jason Taylor, they never checked out of a game. Zach Thomas, I had a chance to play against those guys a lot, and they were in it every single game. So I think for me, that was the guys that I really was. Michael Strahan, every game he was out there to try to, you know, beat the opposing tackle on every play and sack the quarterback. And those are the guys that you know, I really admire.